Where do you think Lucid is going in 2022? This report is a Lucid stock forecast for 2022. What to consider in Lucid stock, in Lucid Motors? Jonathan Weber has published a very interesting story in Seeking Alpha discussing this. And the summary is basically this. Lucid Group seems like a strong contender in the electric vehicle space due to its advanced technology and great design. The company will produce just about 500 to 600 vehicles this year and ramping up production will take years just like it did for Tesla. Execution risk, risks remain and the valuation is very high. You remember how difficult it was for Tesla to execute and grow the company to mass produce the Model 3 and the Model Y. So Lucid stock LCID is not a buy today but uh, Jonathan Weber believes the returns in 2022 will possibly not be that great. Why not or why yes? If you have a different opinion, friends, let me know in the comments section below. But here is the thesis. But before I get started, this is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. Give us thumbs up if you find this report informative. I am not in the stock market. I don't own any stock. So Lucid Group has seen its shares rise considerably over the last couple of months on the back of growing electric vehicle enthusiasts driven by the Rivian Automotive IPO and due to the fact that Lucid's first car, the uh, Lucid Air Dream Edition, has received great reviews and won the Car of the Year award. Going forward, however, execution when it comes to scaling up the company's manufacturing operations will be important and investors will possibly also focus more on Lucid's valuation, which is pretty high. Lucid could see further upside in 2022 if electric vehicle enthusiasm holds, but Jonathan Weber says, especially if interest rates were to climb next year, Lucid Group could also see the shares come under pressure, which also holds true for most of Lucid's peers. Now, what is Lucid stock's price target? Lucid Group has seen its shares rise by 70% over the last six months, with most of that share price growth occurring in November electric vehicle enthusiasm was growing at that time as Rivian, um, Rivian or Rivian stock made a big splash with its IPO while Lucid also received the Motor Trend Car of the Year award in mid-November, amplifying demand for Lucid shares. Sentiment has cooled off to some degree since as shares have recently declined to the high minus 30s again, which is still up quite a lot over the last six months. However, at current prices, Lucid Group is valued almost perfectly in line with what analysts deem fair value, says Jonathan Weber in Seeking Alpha. This suggests that Lucid stock LCID does not have material upside potential over the next year as price targets are usually given with a 12 months time frame. It is, of of course possible that Lucid's price target sees material upward or downward revisions going forward driven for. Now, Lucid Group is relatively young electric vehicle player that has not manufactured a significant number of vehicles yet. This differentiates it from peers such as Tesla, uh, NIO, Xpeng, and others uh, that have successfully built and sold 100,000 um, to uh, 1 million plus vehicles in their history. Uh, the fact that Lucid is still in the very early stages of ramping up its production um, is negative, of course, and there are considerable execution risks. Remember Tesla. Tesla, for example, has shown repeatedly that meeting production targets on time is not an easy task. It is possible, of course, that Lucid will execute better than Tesla by learning from the experiences, headwinds at all, from the experiences of other electric vehicle manufacturers have made in the past, but investors should nevertheless not assume that Lucid will not experience any headwinds at all. It seems, I believe, says Jonathan Weber, prudent to account for some potential delays and production issues for all new entrants in the electric vehicle space, including Lucid, Rivian, and so on. 
at the same time however lucid also has major advantages and i want to talk about the major advantages its tech looks extremely strong showcased by the record setting 500 plus miles of range for its first vehicle the lucid air dream which easily beat the competition including tesla's highest priced models that is a strong fit for Lucid, which is a newcomer in the electric vehicle space and which still managed to easily beat its more established comp uh, competitors in that regard. Lucid's charging technology is very strong as well, as the company offers 900 plus volt architecture, which allows for extremely fast charging. The company is able to deliver up to 300 miles worth of electricity in just 20 minutes, again, outpacing the competition easily. On top of Lucid's strong technology, it also features a great brand, excellent design, and high manufacturing quality. Not too many vehicles are on the road yet, and there is no long-term data available yet. But from what we see and hear today, production issues such as faulty paint or similar quality control issues have been avoided, which is not a given for new entrants in this industry. Thanks to the great reviews Lucid's Airdream has received so far and thanks to the excellent design of its vehicles, demand for Lucid's products has risen sharply over the last couple of months as Lucid and its products received more attention. In mid-November, Lucid reported that its reservations totaled more than 17,000 up to, uh, by 30% in just six weeks. At this, place, at this pace, actually, I would not be surprised to see the company hit 20,000 reservations in the very near future. It is also possible that this level has already been hit, although there was no announcement so far. So Lucid's next announcement is going to be very important and we're going to watch a lot of things. So please subscribe to our channel if you would like to stay current on where Lucid is going in 2022. Lucid Group will deliver just a couple of hundred vehicles this year, but six to ramp that up considerably next year. Lucid CEO Peter Rawlinson is confident that the company will deliver 20,000 vehicles in 2022 with another 150% increase to 50,000 vehicles being planned for the following year. As mentioned, uh, just I just mentioned, there is no guarantee that Lucid will be able to grow as quickly as expected as unforeseen production issues could hinder the company it ramping up its manufacturing in line with the company's goals. But if I were Lucid, and I'm sure probably they're doing, I would assign a couple of people who could study the problems faced by Tesla when it was ramping production, the problems faced by other car companies when they were ramping up production, and find out solution and apply those solutions to Lucid and minimize the headwinds. There is also no guarantee that demand for Lucid's products will be strong enough for 50,000 vehicle sales in 2022, uh, actually in 2023, although we do believe that supply constraints are more likely than demand constraints. Lucid is active in an absolute growth market and its vehicles combine great design with strong technology. The high sales price of Lucid its products could be a limiting factor for sales in the longer run, at least until the company introduces lower priced models such as the 25,000 vehicles that Lucid seeks to sell in three to four years. And you can find out more about that by looking under our videos. I will probably have the link of that video in the description of this video. So take a look at that, friends. And that's what uh, Peter Ralston said. For 2022, let's assume that Lucid will fall slightly short of its 20,000 sales goal and that the company will sell 18,000 vehicles instead. There were some delays with the Lucid Air Dream, thus some delays in ramping up production do not seem overly unrealistic. Due to the high average sales price of Lucid's vehicles, 18,000 vehicles being sold next year should translate into revenue of around $2 billion, assuming the average sales price will rest slightly north of $100,000. 
Tesla trades at 13 times next year's sales, while Lucid trades at roughly 30 times next year's sales based on the 2 billion estimate that I just said. Lucid should trade at premium to Tesla, says Jonathan Weber in Seeking Alpha, saying, I believe due to its better growth, smaller size, which means maintaining a high uh, relative growth rate is easier and due to its industry leading technology and manufacturing um, uh, excellence. Now, what is Lucid Stocks 2022 forecast? This is Jonathan Weber's forecast, not mine, uh, in Seeking Alpha. So Lucid Stocks price in 2022 depends a lot on whether electric vehicle enthusiasts will hold, although some analysts believe that this will not be the case. Now, imagine this. Some analysts believe that the electric vehicle enthusiasts will not hold. I don't think that way. I think that electric vehicle enthusiasts will hold in 2022, but here's why those analysts think that it will not hold. Electric vehicle stocks had two strong years in 2020 and 2021, and it seems far from guaranteed that this sentiment will hold from, uh, for another year. The market's focus could easily shift to other areas, example, semiconductors, metaverse investment, and so on. If sentiment does wane, lucid stock could have significant downside potential. Expensive growth stocks can fall quite a lot once they are out of favor, showcased by the recent performance of Peloton Zoom video, for example. The same doesn't have to happen for lucid, of course, but it could happen. At the same time, lucid also could see its shares recover to recent highs if lucid announces new models earlier than expected, which could lead to improving sentiment. Analysts believe that Lucid stock will trade mostly flat over the next year, which could be a reasonable base case estimate. Although uh, Jonathan Weber believes that downside potential seems more likely than upside, especially if the Fed starts to tighten monetary supply next year, growth stocks such as Lucid uh, and its peers would feel an above average impact from rising discounts rates. So is Lucid stock a buy, sell or hold? Jonathan Weber says Lucid Group, I believe, among the strongest uh, is uh, among the strongest electric vehicle pure plays from a tech and design perspective. Thus, I do not worry about the company's long-term viability. It also has a reasonable cash balance to fuel growth investments in the foreseeable future. This makes Lucid a better pick than many of the smaller electric vehicle players that are lacking either viable products or financial reserves to get them um, to get them to mass production. At the same time, however, execution risks remain, and it will take years for Lucid to scale its business or to scale its electric vehicle production to 100,000, 500,000, or 1 million vehicles being sold a year. I mean, that's how it took for Tesla. Tesla model. S was introduced, I believe, what, 13 years ago or, or 2013? I'm sorry. Now, considering the uncertainties remain, a $60 plus billion, actually 60 plus billion market capitalizations seems aggressive. A couple of months ago, we started that, uh, uh, the Jonathan Weber stated that Lucid could be a sold long-term investment at then current price, but because shares have relied more than 70% since then, he says, I do believe that it could could make sense to be less bullish here. So for now, he says, I think the NIO and XPeng, which offer strong technology at way lower valuation are better picks in this space. So friends, what do you think about Lucid? Like I said, a disclaimer, I'm not in the stock market. I'm a Lu not Lucid stockholder. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. I would love to hear your opinion in the content section below, in the comment section below. Why do you agree or disagree with this view? And um, if you found this report informative, please give us thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate if you would share in social media. God bless you everyone. Peace be with all of you. Have a wonderful rest of the day and let's move on to our next story.